A day after the release of Kerala journalist Siddhik Kapan, senior Congress leader Shashi Tharoor said on Friday that the amended Unlawful Activities Prevention Act or UAPA in short is a menace to democracy. Kapan walked out of jail on bail on Thursday, over two years after he was arrested for allegedly trying to instigate violence after the death of a woman in Uttar Pradesh's Hathras. Reacting to the development, Tharoor said, the release of Siddhik Kapan after 28 months in jail reminds us that UAP allows the government to detain people indefinitely without charge. It took the Supreme Court to finally reaffirm bail, not jail, the former union minister said on Twitter. The amended UAPA is a menace to democracy, as I warned when opposing its introduction in Lok Sabha, Tharoor said. In another tweet, he said, a footnote, when Siddhik Kapan asked for reading material in jail, he was offered only books in Hindi, a language he does not know, and denied books in English or Malayalam, the only languages he can read. In the land of Mahatma Gandhi, is this the level of our humanity? Tharoor asked. Kapan's release came almost six weeks after the Allahabad High Court granted him bail in a money laundering case filed by the Enforcement Directorate. In September, the Supreme Court granted him bail in another case under the Unlawful Activities Prevention Act. While coming out of jail, Kapan said, I feel the fresh air of freedom. With fellow journalists queuing up to get his reaction, Kapan pulled up the left cuff of his jacket to reveal circular ink marks that he said were the chapa, that is stamp, of his freedom. After 28 months, I have been stamped with my freedom. Kapan told media persons with a gentle but confident smile. The stamp was a marker of his release from the prison. I am thankful to the media and the general public, said Kapan, who will be returning to Kerala after spending the next six weeks in Delhi. Kapan had been arrested with three others in October 2020 en route to Hathras, where a Dalit woman had been killed after alleged gang rape. But during the more than two years that he spent in prison on allegedly fake charges, Kapan lost more than his freedom. He lost his mother. News Desk, Kaumbuti Global.